Hey guys, welcome to the shop today. In this video, I'm going to take you through the build process of the wood lathe stand you see behind me. I started this project by cutting nine three foot long two by sixes, and then gluing them together to make a solid top for the lathe stand. After the glue dried, I ran it through the planer to smooth and flatten it. I chiseled a notch out of the top for the leg to partially nest into. Doing this gives me a stronger glue bond and will help for a more robust stand. I did one side completely with chisel and mallet which took about three months. I used my oscillating tool for the other side by making cuts on the cheeks of the notch. This made knocking out the waist a breeze. Next I cut the legs making sure to make them a little longer than I needed. I then glued them into the notches and added three and a half inch screws to give a little extra holding power and also allow me to continue with the build instead of waiting for the glue to dry. Next I added a 1x3 horizontal brace between the legs to help keep them parallel with each other. I laid the stand on its side and measured from the top of the stand and down to where I wanted the stand to meet the floor. I used my Japanese pull saw to cut the excess bits off the legs. The next step was to cut 2x6s to become the feet of the stand and attach them to the legs. I ended up changing my mind on the foot design and you'll see that change here in a few seconds. With the stand in place, I then glued on outside leg boards to further strengthen the stand. I took off the inside foot boards then cut them to fit between the leg and the outer foot rail. This design gives me more room while working at the lathe and also makes for a stronger system overall. While the glue dried, I added a simple French cleat system to the wall and moved over my tool rack and small shelf from the previous lathe work area. Next up was to hit the stand with the sander and then give it a few coats of spray lacquer to add a bit of durability and also seal it from getting stained over time. I set the lathe in place on the stand, marked the holes for the bolt pattern, and then drilled half inch holes all the way through the top. My lathe uses a metric threaded bolt for attaching to a stand and I couldn't find bolts long enough locally to go through the whole top so I ended up countersinking the bolts a few inches into the bottom to make up for the difference. The last step was to use large angle brackets and anchor the stand to the floor of my workshop. As always, I do appreciate your support and sharing this on social media, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time in the workshop. Take care.